how are you guys today uh, happy sunday everybody i hope everybody is wonderful and as you guys can see by the uh thumbnail of this video i create um or i altered these uh cute little frames and i kind of trying to go for the shabby chic look to it um because that's what i like and um i think they come out really pretty and um stay tuned just go grab your items um uh, and craft with me and let's start with the video i don't know i since last night i have the urge of creating something mixed media i was watching um maremi small art and another um crafters and um I, I don't know, I get inspired for so many, from so many of them, I uh, would say. And um, I just decided to start today um, creating something maybe different, um, but cute, of course. And I have this old uh, picture frame, um, very old. Actually, it's a set of three. Mm, this is how they look and um i want to alter them i want to give them a new life and i want to give them uh i'm going to try to give them like a shabby chic look to it um i'm going to try my best i don't promise anything but i'm going to try the best of creating something really really cute with this um i have um of course i have a uh, gesso I have this um, metallic and opal magic from um, the this this art prima actually you know the, the brand is from prima um, this um, Taylor Angels uh, China Mist I also have uh, some distress from um, Tim Holtz the paints from Heidi swaps in case I decide to use them. I have some glitter. I have some water brushes. Um, uh, you name it. So I'm going to start um, to prep my frame. Um, to prep my frame, uh, what, all what I do is use the white gesso. If you don't have white gesso, this actually is acrylic white gesso. You can use acrylic paint. and Or you can use a better quality of just so um, I'm going to start um, actually, you know, going all over with the gesso. And how you guys been doing? Um, hopefully everybody is healthy and everybody's in shape and everybody is actually having a relaxing Sunday because uh, that's what it matters, you know, being happy and being healthy and hope so many of you you know do something that you guys actually enjoy in a sunday um sundays for me they're like that they're relaxing days um where i get to stay in my house don't do too much i always stay in my house but um you know i try not to do too much and have a little bit of relaxing time um, I'm going to put this to dry actually this dry very fast while I'm doing the other two um, I put it like in front of my fan <laughs> I have a fan because oh god down here it can be hot and I'm, I wasn't planning to do this other one right now but since I know you guys um want to watch the whole process i don't know i think i'm gonna have to be very careful because the meter part doesn't want to come off so actually i think that's what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to be very very careful but since it's gesso i know i can remove it so no biggie 
and I hope that I'm in frame so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh. Guys, um, somebody, uh, asked me the other day about why, oops, God, thank God it's in the clear mat that I use to paint my stuff, but, um, what I was trying to say is that um, somebody was asking me if I have um, a Facebook or Instagram page where they can follow me. And yes, I do. I have a page on Facebook. And um, in that page, I share my um project stuff that i make and um, you know ideas that i get from other page or other people that are already you know in my page um and they have an idea it's a, a page where you can follow um you know you can post things also i uh, will be um you have to say me like uh if i approve it or not type of deal but um i have it on um, it's called pink crafty world and i also was um uh, thinking since i'm directing myself more to the crafty community I'm doing crafty projects more than anything else here in YouTube. I was um, thinking if, what do you guys think about the idea of me changing the name of the channel to Pink Crafty World? Um, that's the name of the page in my YouTube, and my, sorry, in my Facebook, and I would like my YouTube name to be been crafty work but I don't want to do any changes um, just to see until you guys give me a response like if I should do it or not um, I I think it's something that I have to consider and see um, you know how do you guys like the idea what do you guys tell me about it and then I go from there um, but of course I don't want to make any changes to the channel uh, without telling you guys first because you guys um, you know are the ones who got me here so far so that's you know, why before I do any changes I will like to you know ask you guys well, as you guys can see, I already uh, put white gesso all over the frames of the meters and um, the picture frame over there. And, um, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I like that it looks like kind of distressed a little bit. Um, let me put my uh, brush in the water because I don't want to get damaged. I don't have too many brushes anymore, so... That's why I have to go and buy me more brushes. But um, I'm going to let them dry uh, for a few minutes. And we will start uh, doing the whole process on this. Okay, guys. Um, like I told you guys, um. This will be um, dry in no time, pretty much. And, um, um, you know, it will, we will be able to work like really fast with this. And um, I'm gonna use, I would say, um, from our alchemy, um, this vintage rose color for them and 
um, this is from Prima. Um, I, I hold this uh, from Michaels not too long ago, um, and I actually like it so so much. Um, it's also um, acrylic paint, and look how beautiful is that color, and. That's uh, what I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use a brush, but I'm going to kind of dab it. I'm, I'm not actually brushing, brushing. I'm dabbing. So the white still kind of um, see through it a little bit. Um, and this metallic is not... Um, too too um bright to the eye you know uh, i don't like to throw these away because i feel like this help my paint to you know preserve a little bit more since it seals better so that's why you know, it, it, I'm almost like covering the whole thing on paint, but um, it doesn't look too, too um, bright, you know, like, like if you see it closer, you still see like some of the uh, pink, um, sorry, the white, I don't know how to talk today, some of the white peeking through, you know. And that's the look that I want. Um, this is moving because I don't want to actually touch it. But I guess we're going to have to. And I'm just grabbing a little bit of the paint, you know, and doing this. Okay, so let me lift this a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm saying. You guys see that you guys be able to see a little bit of the white parts showing? That's that's the way I want it to look. I don't want um, no other way, you know, I don't want it to look too dark. So I'm going to put this um, to dry and I'll be back for more. I'm going to do, of course, the meter, I have to clean it up, um, uh, but I will do that later after, you know, the whole process is done. Let's go for it. Let's do this. We're going to use the same metallic one. And again, we're just going to dab. And um, my whole intention with you guys is that you guys be able to see like something that is vintage, old, uh, that you guys may don't feel the love because the way it looks anymore, you know. Um, my whole intention is you guys to see that you guys can create, you know, um, that maybe you can find this, maybe your neighbor. Your neighbor says that they're going to get rid of a lot of bunch of stuff uh, from a garage or from their house. And you ended up helping your neighbor and you want to ask, hey, neighbor, can I have this? Uh, it's nothing wrong. 
with grabbing it and giving it a new life, new life. Um, I do that a lot. I I know a lot of people don't like old stuff. Um, a lot of people like the modern stuff. And, um, but I do, don't get me wrong. But I also appreciate um, the beauty on all these kinds of stuff. Um, you know, remembering seeing um, this type of stuff in my grandma's house or in my, you know, probably my mom's. Uh, I don't know. It bring me so much joy uh, that I, I don't know. I really, really make me appreciate the things a little bit more and um, I don't know. I love it and I'm fascinated with and I hope um, that I inspire you guys uh, to found all those old pieces and you know create something really really beautiful with them because that's the way of doing it um okay guys we are done with the painting i believe not sure yet we might use another things here and there we'll see um but after all and after seeing how they come out i'm one i want to just uh, give it a, like a shabby chic look to it you know since it's uh, like pink and um, they look so so cute uh, let me put this to dry real quick That uh, paint from Prima is really good. It dries really, really fast. I see. I Whatever I have in my hands is because it's from for the white just before. Stewart. But this uh, and I'm Prima paint use dries um, real, real quick. And to see, I do love how, that. Uh, how, what look I can achieve. I'm going to be decorating the frame. But before and, that, um, I'm going to grab a piece of see paper. I have a bunch from one of my paper of bags. material see, here um, to get how this, I can do um, this part. To use okay, I have the piece paper here from this um, recollection to paper using. pad that I got um, at Tuesday morning. To glue uh, it's the English tea party. Uh, this paper pad is from a little bit more I around. Come out July of last year. And I'm going to turn, I want to move all these, but because I'm going to turn the paper and I'm going to um, draw the shape of the oval piece here perfect like that and now I'm going to glue this and to glue it I'm just gonna use um, because I think it's too big Now I'm going to put the frame, this uh, back in the frame. The back part you don't have to worry about because 
the back part nobody's going to see it so um okay Yes, and this is here. Alrighty. Oops, right here again. And um, I'm going to grab some of these cute stickers from Marta's store. I got these, oh my god, a long time ago, the bird came off from, um, already, Tuesday morning, actually. I'm going to. Um, they are such a cute thing. Um, thinking, I want to go like this, like that, okay? Yeah, like um, right. Okay, and um, let me get rid of it. Now, waiting for my hat glue gun. Yeah, like right in there. Okay. And it's a sticker. And why I put glue? Because I want these to um, stay put longer. You know, guys, no? Um, and that's why. All right. Okay. And I'm going to put there the go. bird that's here. How and the looks. bird is... Okay. Um, in the and foam now the tape so i'm going to do that right in here i have more here and i'm wondering i like this one If I just can do this. Yes, I can. Who tell me I cannot? <laughs> yes, uh, we can. Okay. All right. There we go. Hope you guys are seeing the whole process. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of these flowers. Mm, and maybe mm, some of these actually. Um, I get these uh, from a donation and they are like um, Type of material it's like a plastic flowers and they are so chubby cheek looking that I just um, totally 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 fall in love with it and I appreciate um, the person um, giving me this I reached out to her she was uh, giving this for free um, in a Facebook page uh, the marketplace in the Facebook yeah and um, I reached out to her and asked and she said yes you can come and get them um, I donate those to you I have no problem I hope you give it a good use and yes I am so thank you to the lady for gifting me this oh my god I cannot cut it okay almost almost there I have to buy new uh, pliers to work here. Okay, what I did is I dismantled the whole flower. Um, I think I should go like lower here, right? Um, maybe make this like if it's part of the yeah let's do that 
Let me cut these, trim these a little bit more, see if I can shift to do that. Since able to do it so so happy guys um you guys have to you know uh, forgive me uh, this is gonna be a kind of long video because the process that I'm working on is kind of um yeah right in there to put the flower the leaves right in here okay Sorry guys, that was my hot glue gun. how do you guys are uh, you guys are picturing what I'm trying to do here right good to cut these a little bit shorter so not too much of this I will be showing yep because I really want to use this really 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 Now I'm cutting these pieces here. That's what I'm moving my hands over here, but if, because I have a pile of the garbage that I don't want to. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe I use those for something else. Let's see. I have these ones here. And they have these leaves. They're all like. the leaves and we're going to use that right in there and these are flowers of um, ribbon flowers the lady that I was telling you guys about she also sent me those and I again I appreciate her so much I 
wish I can have her name to give her a shout out here in YouTube, but. I was so happy when she said okay. Look how gorgeous and how beautiful is that. Um, I have these other ones here and they are kind of a smaller so I'm going to separate them. Let me save that over there. I'm going to separate them and I'm going to use these uh, for down here so you guys have an idea of oh my God. these flowers are cute but they are so fragile guys they are very very fragile and to cut them with this that I'm using is like really hard. Oh god. Let's see. Yes, it's coming apart. Alright. They're coming apart. Kind of underneath I'm going to put that one and let me cut this piece of there we go I'm going to glue that one in here to remove this tape okay I'm going to glue the flower right in here All right. oops again guys I'm sorry it's my hot glue gone going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to cut the green tape piece on the wire. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to piece it like that. like that church to side a little bit and I'm going to put that piece there already oh my god this is looking so gorgeous guys so so gorgeous love it totally love it and again using some of these white flowers yeah right in there go right in there there 
There we go. How beautiful. And I'm going to put the other one. Second, let me cut it. The other one, I'm going to piece it right underneath there. And it does look so perfect and fabulous that I'm telling you guys. Um What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit in a brush. Uh, let me see if I have a brush here. Yeah. Just a little bit in a brush of the white gesso. Okay. And I'm going to go like with the white gesso a little bit in the flower and a little bit here in there. You guys, okay, just to highlight um, some of the um, to make it look more like shabby chic look you know give it a the shabby chic um feeling and let me see what I can put this yep I'm going to soak it in the water because I don't want it to get dry I'm going to grab the stickles and I have a crystal stickles. I have the diamond, which diamond is my favorite, I believe. And I have the stardust. Mm, but I want to grab um, the diamond. And I'm going to put a little bit of stickles here and there in the flowers. Like not too much you know we don't gonna do too much just a little bit here and in there and you guys see i just grab a bunch of materials and items you know and um you know wanting to work with them and um thinking what i'm going to be doing what look i can achieve um didn't have any idea that I okay I, I have, have inspiration to to work with these frames since I saw uh, Maremi Small Art she posted a video uh, where she uh, do a frame in a canvas she put this uh, beautiful frame from a collection I don't know I think the collection is from Prima and um, she put those Take the frame and create something cute in a canvas. 
but um I was like I don't know you know I want to create something with the frames that I have and she gave me the inspiration enough to do this I was thinking maybe I should create something like she did in a canvas or something but um, then I decide let me give it a try for these other things and this is the first one um, it's done I'm gonna set it to dry and I'm gonna go grab the other two to finish them I told you guys this video is gonna be long but different ones I'm going to use this one uh, the same material so I love it and before I'm giving them away or anything I
okay guys um this is the whole project all finished um as you guys can see i didn't spend anything uh just maybe a few bucks on this project since i already did have everything and these frames was all frames that um other people um give it to me and flowers that people donate to me and things that i have in my stash um that i love to repurpose them and you know to do um great things with it um i know it come out very cute um to me it looks very shabby chic i'm very happy uh with the outcome i hope you guys get inspired with me and create something beautiful um again happy sunday and if you are watching and you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're watching and you're not subscribed yet please i'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel i would love for you to be part of this family um again happy sunday thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye now